Welcome back to Vishwakarma. In the last two videos, we have learnt about the decision screens and about the basics of the game. This video explains you further the outcome and impact of decisions for a given example. Based on the earlier inputs on demand pattern, we in this example choose to address two core regions D and E where we see maximum sales potential based on the demand forecast and our current capacity should adequately be able to address these two regions alone. We will play this game in the easy mode which runs for 15 rounds or 15 Vishwakarma days. Having chosen the easy mode, we primarily decide on the following. We will not set up warehouse as it will take 15 days to have a warehouse emerge and it is not going to serve any purpose in this mode. We will neither set up a factory as it takes 40 days nor expand the factory output which takes 25 days. Select the factory mode. As we are into the game and on day 1, let us set the transport mode as truck from factory to warehouse E. Since truck starts with a minimum batch of 200 units, and as our daily production being 80 units, we would be able to dispatch the materials from the factory every third day and hence we set the reorder point and reorder quantity as 240 and priority 1 with only one warehouse in place. Having chosen the truck as mode of transport from factory to warehouse, the dispatched materials should reach the warehouse E on end of 8th day as the transportation time is 5 days. Similarly, materials dispatched on 6th day and 9th day will reach the warehouse E on end of 11th and 14th day respectively. Now let us move into warehouse. We choose pickup as a mode of transporting materials from warehouse E to region E which takes one day and costs 210 that is production plus transportation cost with priority being one as this region being the fastest as well as the cheapest to deliver. Similarly, we decide to use the flight as a mode for transporting materials from warehouse E to region D which again takes a day to reach but cost 460 with priority being 2 so as to not lose any sales and it being marginally beneficial as well with the selling price being 600. Let us reset the priority for other regions as well and update. As we are in day 10 now, we decide to stop production because any further production when dispatched will not reach warehouse before 15th day. Hence we also save on the production cost plus pile up of produced materials in the factory and warehouse. Great, having finished the game, being in the 15th day, let us see our standing on the cash position vis a -vis the competition. Let us also look at the following. Graph warehouse versus time. From this graph, we are able to understand the movement of inventory in the warehouse E. 
graph loss demand versus time this graph tells us about the sales loss in each of the region and it is evident from the initial spikes that there was sales loss but with the decision to address region e and d we were significantly able to address this issue finally cash breakup versus time this graph pictures the breakup of expenses as against the revenue over a time frame and we can notice the sales revenue at its peak which shows healthy signs as the simulation period lengthens complexity will increase and a great deal of thinking will be required in decision making such as where to or not to set up the warehouse or a factory priority order of setting up priority order of serving and more we wish you all the best keep enjoying keep gaming thank you